Happy Monday. Today we're talking about why it's so damn hard to get an Xbox Series X, how Amazon is going to deal with away from keyboard people, as well as when we're finally going to be able to play Elden Ring. My name is Devante Chisholm and you're watching GameSpot News. Let's get started with the new gen consoles and why they're so hard to get. Xbox's vice president of gaming, Phil Spencer, recently spoke with The Wrap and said finding a console isn't going to get much easier anytime soon. Phil told the site there are multiple kinds of pinch points in the process of console making, and it comes down to more than just the chip shortage. He went on to say, quote, I think regretfully it's going to be with us for months and months, definitely throughout the end of this calendar year and into the next calendar year. So do you have a PS5 or one of the Xbox series consoles? Do you love it? Do you hate it? How did you get it? Let me know in the comments. But all right, it's pretty hard to deny New World's popularity. And now, nearly a week after its launch, the game has surpassed another milestone. Over the weekend, New World saw more than 900,000 concurrent players on Steam, making it the most played game on the platform. This explosion of popularity has resulted in some really long queue times for some servers and it's caused some players to use some not so great methods like auto running into a wall in order to stay on servers and not have to reload in. However, players' ways of skirting around the game's automatic away from keyboard detection system will soon come to an end. Amazon Games announced it's looking to take action to both implement better AFK detection as well as punish bad faith AFK players. Community manager Henry Stelter said the new detection system works, but that players who are playing the game normally should not experience any issues. But okay, with its long-awaited release date just months away, a developer at From Software has confirmed that Elden Ring is almost done being developed. During an interview with Famitsu, From Software's Yushihiro Katao plainly said the game is, quote, at the end of development although he didn't say when the game would likely go gold. Katao also loosely described the game's world and difficulty, saying players could, quote, seamlessly visit the dungeons littered throughout the game's open world. As for the game's difficulty, well, it's still a From Software game. Katao said, quote, high difficulties and overcoming them are a part of Elden Ring. And that is exactly why I probably won't be playing it. I'll give it a shot. Five minutes, maybe a little more. We'll see. Switching gears to Epic Games now because it announced the Epic Achievement System on its Epic Games Store. Starting next week, players can begin earning XP by completing Epic Achievements in select titles like Rocket League, Hades, Pillars of Eternity, Kenna Bridge of Spirits, Zombie Army 4, and Alan Wake Remastered. Epic is also sending out a set of tools for developers to easily and quickly implement achievements for the Epic Game Store platform so more games will be supported later this year. And while the Epic Game Store already had achievements last year, they were specifically developer achievements, which were fully owned and operated by developers on a game-by-game -game basis. The new achievement system applies to the platform itself, much like Xbox and PlayStation. And I love me some trophies, and I can't wait to platinum, what was it called, Far Cry 6 uh, soon-ish, you know, because I know the game is huge, but this is awesome. I, I like collecting achievements, so just give me another platform to do it, and uh, you know, if someone peer pressure Nintendo to do it, get them on the phone, that'd be cool too. And before we close out, I just want to remind you that the final DLC reveal for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is coming up on October 5th. Sakurai posted a comment about how this event will appeal to all video game fans via his Twitter and said, quote, whether you're a Smash Bros. player or simply love video games, make sure you tune in. And while this has fueled speculation of who the final fighter will be, with names like Sora from Kingdom Hearts and Master Chief from Halo among the most popular guesses, Sakurai gave no direct hints as to who will be joining the fight. Fingers crossed still for Billy Hatcher. I'm telling you, this is his year. He's getting in. I don't want to bet money on it, so don't ask me to. But who do you want in the game? Comment down below. And that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.